what up? No, 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 don't lock them out. That's so rude. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hey everyone, it's Apari here, and welcome back to another brand new Animal Jam video. Actually, it is not Apari, it is me. Did I have you checked there? Because it's actually Bepper. And just a disclaimer before I start this video, because I know AJHQ doesn't really approve of these videos of people going on other people's accounts, because that means password sharing. Apari and I are siblings. We live in the same household. I had him come upstairs into my bedroom, where I do all of my recordings and such. I had him plug in his own password as I stared at the wall, and he did not share it with me. I still don't know what Apari's password is. And if I clicked log out right now, I wouldn't be able to log back in, because I don't know Apari party's password. Don't share your passwords, kids. It's a stupid idea. And even my brother didn't share his password with me, his sister, his most trusted friend. I actually wouldn't call myself his most trusted friend, but still, whatever. So anyway, today I'm on a party's account, and it started as me wanting all of his rares. Like, I kept texting him, give me all your betas, because he doesn't play the game anymore. And he kept refusing and being like, no, I'm not giving you my betas. And I was like, why not? And he's like, cuz. And I'm like, that's not a reason, but whatever. And then it just kind of got into this curiosity of, well, what do you have on your account, a party? So this is kind of just gonna be a video all about a party's account. I'm gonna check his jamograms. I'm gonna check what he has in his den, who his buddies are. Apparently, we already know he's buddies with Sinnoh and Norel the Fallen Pug. I'm gonna check out his dens. I'm like, I'm so excited. I've never been on somebody else's account before. So this is just a great time. I'm so excited. Oh no, I turned him into a phantom. Oh wow, look at this beautiful masterpiece. This is an actual beautiful masterpiece. I mean, seriously, wow. We got this, whatever this is. I don't wanna be a phantom anymore. So let's just go ahead and switch his den and hopefully that fixes things. All right, here we have his small house den. Lovely. What does he have for sale? Nothing. Nothing is for sale. Cool. Ah, there's a little Zio's plushie. That's so cute. I kind of want it. But he also made it very clear to me I cannot take anything from his account. So I'm not going to, you know, steal his items. That would be kind of mean. But I do feel pretty cool playing as a party right now. Like, what the heck? I'm, I'm feeling pretty cool. All right, let's check out his sunken ship den. There's nothing in there. Let's just go ahead and check out his castle den. Ooh. Ooh, his team saber tooth den. How cool. It's just full of saber tooth tigers. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's really full to the brim. Holy moly. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I kind of love this den. This is amazing. He also has a bunch of portals that I don't really know where they go. Typical Rockies den. Oh, it's members of team saber tooth. That's amazing. Moving right along. His snow fort den. Let's check that one out. A bunch of random items here. Cool. So far, my favorite den of his is definitely the saber tooth tiger den just because it's the only one that has actually had effort put into it a nice zio sculpture pretty cool pretty cool and i don't think there's anything else in this den getting dizzy with all these dens sorry also what the heck is his chat system it like it comes up with little bubbles every time i type something that's that's weird why didn't you fix that sino also has no idea that i'm bepper right now so she thinks she's talking to a party i could totally prank her i could totally prank her and be like do you want to aj date me we would make such a cute couple look at us we're like matching colors I mean, red and blue don't match, but they kind of go together, right? She moves. She's like, yeah, get the heck away from me. Oh, well, fine. You don't need me in your life. I feel like me and my brother are kind of the same when playing Animal Jam. We get a bunch of dens, put like one item in them, and then we're like, there we go. It's decorated. Even though it's totally not decorated. Whoa! That is such a good masterpiece of him. Are you kidding me? Wow. This is insanity. Oh, look at that little cheese tiger. He must have really loved this masterpiece because it's in several of his dens. Oh, wait. I just got an urge to check how many gems he has. Okay. Ten million. It's understandable, but it's definitely less than me, so I'm still pretty cool. Volcano den. Oh, it actually has a nice little sitting area. Would you look at that? There's another sunken ship den, but honestly, I don't think it's gonna have anything in it. Would you look at that? It doesn't have anything in it. I don't know why he has two of the same den with nothing in it, but oh well. He has one car. He is so bad at decorating dens, it's kind of insane. Like, every single den has, like, one item in it, and then the rest of it is completely undecorated. The old barn den. All Animal Jam YouTubers have the old barn den and let me tell you why. Because if we're editing a thumbnail or something and we need an animal in it, we'll sit here and this will act as a green screen. And then we take a screenshot and then we just cut out all of the green. And it's super easy to do because there's this giant patch right here with no grass tufts. And so it's all just the same color. It's great. It's super easy to cut out. So that's why literally every single Animal Jam YouTuber you will ever meet has a barn den in Animal Jam. And oh, look at this. He has all of his plaques listed here. That's awesome. Ah, oh, this beautiful masterpiece. I feel like this is probably the 
most liked masterpiece in history. 246,000 likes. Are you kidding? All right, I'm kind of sick of looking at his dens now and I want to move on to something else. So let's go ahead and check out all of the clothing items that he has. Oh my God. So many spiked colors. I'm just going to scroll all the way to the bottom and we're just going to look from the bottom to the top. Okay, so some pretty normal items we got going on here. Nothing too big, nothing too fancy. He does have some uh, glossy Cupid wings, but those are the rare version. Scrolling up, we have a bunch of diamond shop tail armors. Nothing too cool. I hope he's watching this video to like see what I did on his account and he's realizing I'm just roasting the heck out of him. Whoa! He actually does have glossy cupid wings! Quite a few glossy cupid wings! I want them! I really want to steal like everything on his account right now and it's taking so much restraint not to but he said not to and I'm a rule follower so I won't but I really want to. Like oh my gosh he has so many good- Oh my god! Why can't I take that? Why can't I take that he doesn't even play this game anymore but that's okay I'm okay I'm gonna breathe it's fine I'm not gonna steal anything you're not gonna steal anything Pepper oh my gosh he has so many spiked collars but I'm not gonna steal them because that would be wrong stealing is wrong kids even when it feels good even when it's cool don't steal from other people and I'm just gonna go ahead and make my main outfit on his main outfit so everyone can be like oh my god a party were you hacked and he'll be like yeah by my sister and if he ever wants to change this back he'll have to log into his animal jam account so there we go get that get these I already saw that he has all the elf anklets so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the gray ones and there we go I have just created myself on him I don't know if anyone's caught on yet but it's not me oh typical Rocky's here I feel like everyone's just coming here because they're like is that a party and it's like no it's pepper <laughs> psych he has a single rare hockey mask for trade which I'm just gonna take off his trade list and then we're gonna go ahead and check out his den items because honestly what the heck does he have he has a bunch of can okay he has a lot of candy for some reason a rare table with orb that's pretty uh, normal he has an entire arcades worth of video games a blue mat that's his one beta oh gosh he has so many schools of minnows why does he buy like 50 of one single item I don't know but that's stop buying why did he buy so many of these oh my gosh that's like all he has in his inventory how long does this go for I think I broke animal jam nothing is loading um I think he broke animal jam actually with all of those schools of minnows like what the heck what is this I don't know no. Um, hello. We're just gonna refresh because I'm not gonna deal with that. All right, let's just go and look through his den items this way because that seems to be easier. He definitely has a lot of cool masterpieces. Like, this is beautiful. How does it not have more likes? The Cheese Tiger Army versus Apari. Beautiful. Most of his inventory is just masterpieces and that's it. It's like he doesn't have any rare items except for those phantom rugs that he had in that one single den. Oh, there's a robot, so never mind. He does have some den betas. This is so cool for me just to look through everything that he has and be like, ooh, this is so cool. All right, here's about 100,000 saber tooth tiger things, like all of the saber tooth tigers. So we're just gonna keep skipping past until we get past the saber tooth tiger stuff. All right, we found the end. Oh, there's an open sign, so he is a bit rare. Ooh, what's this masterpiece? Okay, that is tripping me out, so I'm Xing out of that right quick. Yeah, pretty much his entire inventory is just masterpieces. Like, there's not a single other thing in here besides masterpieces. This one is really cool. That is a cool masterpiece made by Woot Moo. You have a masterpiece from Woot Moo and you never even put it in your den. How selfish. Actually, it's kind of weird seeing my outfit on Apari. I feel like I've ruined everything, so I need to really quickly switch him back to what he was before. He said not to ruin anything, so I'm just gonna really quickly switch him back before anybody notices I was ever here. I totally didn't do anything, nothing at all. Let's go ahead and check out his mail now. Okay, just a lot of cards from AGHQ. Like, nobody has even messaged him. Wait, that's a lie. People were messaging him, but he reached the limit of 500 jamograms. I thought you quit. He did, sadly. Rest in peace. OMG, I shaking right now. I'm place milk. Ah, all right. That's a pretty cool message. Actually, I'm going to lock his jamograms just for a moment so I can go through these ones. He got some rare reindeer slippers, a rare spiked collar. I am juice. No, answer now. Don't leave us, sad face. Oh, that's so sad. And they even gave him heart chocolates. Oh. Oh my gosh, that actually kind of broke my heart. First time I met you in AJ. So these must be like messages from when he was still on because they clearly saw him like online. Can I have a party hat or a beta tail? Honestly, he doesn't even have either. So he opened like all of these gifts, but he never actually accepted them, which is strange to me. Like, did he mean for these to stay in here forever? I'm not sure, but I'm opening them all now. So there's nothing he can do about it anyway, right? Like seriously, he looked at every single one of these, but he never opened the gift for some reason or he never accepted it. 
which is strange, but oh well. Let's take a look at his buddies. Who was my brother's buddy? Let's start all the way at the bottom. Zestiel, I'm even their buddy. Wow, okay, cool. We know the same people. I don't know most of these people. He was friends with Wootmoo, obviously. Everyone's friends with Wootmoo. Wolfie Cat, aw. Wisteria Moon. Wisteria Moon was on today. What? Since when? Since when is Mysteria Moon on? I mean, she does still play Animal Jam. Whoa, this is such a pretty den. I love it. Oh my goodness. Well, there was a new update and that's the Spring Small House, but I actually haven't checked it out yet. This is such a cool den. But we have things to do. Okay, back to looking at who is his buddy. Typical Rocky. Winkle0122. Try. The Shop King. It's been more than 30 days since he got on. That's so sad. What happened to you, the Shop King? Snowy Claw. Scorm. It's been more than 30 days. So sad. Shine. That's a really cool username. I don't know who they are, but they're really cool. It's been more than 30 days for them too, and they're so rare. Why would you leave us? Sethy, my dude. Oh no, it's been more than 30 days. That's so sad. Rosie Star. Are you kidding me? I remember Rosie Star. Probably nobody remembers what I'm talking about, but there was this whole thing about Rosie Star in the news. The Animal Jam news, that is. Natalie, I feel like I remember them, but it's been 25 days since they got on. That's so sad. Minty Cupcakes. It's, it's like everybody has left Animal jam completely. Oh, leg is still coming on. That's that's good. Gummy unicorn more than 30 days. Etched more than 30 days. This is really sad. My old pal Chorus. Busness. Oh my gosh. Busness was a party's all-time best friend on Animal Jam and it's definitely been more than 30 days since he logged on. Oh no, that's so sad. Let's go to his den. Let's see. How is he doing? <sighs> oh wow. Oh wow. Oh lord. That is so many masterpieces. But look right here. You can see a party and Busness. I am lagging so bad from all of these masterpieces, but look, he has a few Apari masterpieces in here. That's so sweet. So we've discovered that he has a ton of spikes in his inventory, millions of masterpieces, a bunch of opened but unopened mail for some reason, a ton of really cool buddies. Oh, hey, there is someone really cool. They were on today. <laughs> Wonder who they could be. Oh, he's buddies with AJHQ, and of course, AJHQ is on today because, of course, they're AJHQ. And then there's Sinnoh, who's in Apari's den, my den. I mean, his den. Whoever's den. Oh, you know what I want to look at? I want to look at his pets. This man has Animal Jam pets, which is weird to me because I actually literally never saw him with pets on Animal Jam before, ever. Like, at all. Those are all of his pets. Wow. I don't know why it's so strange to me that he has pets on Animal Jam, but he does. And it's also weird to me that this was his first pet ever. Crunchy Chip the snake. Look at how beautiful this little snake is. This is going to be his companion now, okay? I feel like after so long of literally never having having a pet on him. Crunchy Chip should fulfill his purpose, you know? Oh my goodness, look at all of these animals. We literally did the same exact thing on Animal Jam, which is just buy a bunch of animals, but never actually decorate them, like, at all. He has four that he's decorated. His main outfit, obviously, which isn't even on the right animal. Victory Vine Ivy is his main character, so actually I'm going to help him out here, because this one is Victory Vine Ivy. This other imposter is Dr. Speedy Pride, which, like, who the heck is that? It's okay. Okay, we're gonna restore you to your former glory, Victory Vine Ivy, okay? I will save you, even though Apari will not, I will save you, okay? And there you go, Victory Vine Ivy, you've been restored, and this imposter can be deleted forever. Then, of course, we have Juniper Stinky Seal, aka the Cheese Tiger, and he has Sir Smelly Seal, which Stinky Seal and Smelly Seal, I'm not sure if he meant to do that on purpose, but, like, cool. And that's his flying version of Apari. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. I thought his account would be way more cool than it actually is, but honestly, I'm not that big of a fan. Maybe if I check out some more of his dens, I'll be convinced. Nope, this den has nothing in it. This den also has nothing in it. Can you guess what this den has? Oh right, nothing in it. Hey, this den actually has something in it. Stay cheesy. Wow, what a great masterpiece. And this is just full of arcade stuff. I will always protect you, my son. That's so cute. <laughs> so my give me spike plus or auto is his cheese tiger. That's so sweet. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Look how many dens he has. This is insanity. You know what? I'm about to leave Apari's account, but one final order of business is I will switch back to his castle den, which is actually exquisitely designed with all of these saber-toothed tigers, and we are going to unlock his den to everyone, not just to buddies, because everyone is free to come and enjoy Apari's den. On the very, very off chance that he actually might log in one day, he will see all of you guys in his den, and I just realized that in switching to the actual Victory Vine Ivy, you know, his real main character, not that imposter, Crunchy Chip needs to come back to his side his right hand man. And another final order of business. Let's open those back up to everyone. There's considerably less jamograms now, so if you want to send him something, go ahead. I'm not sure he'll ever actually 
see it, but you know, he might one day, eventually. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed checking out Apari's account. I've wanted to do this for a while, and he finally let me. It was kind of anticlimactic, like, you know, there was nothing. I expected him to have way more rare items, but he only just has a few spiked collars. And, of course, he does have one magenta furry hat. <gasps> Wait! He has one magenta furry hat! I know exactly what I'm supposed to do here! I have to leave my mark somehow to let people know I was here, so I'm doing it, okay? I am creating my main outfit on his account, and that's going to be amazing. Explore Quiet Moon, the beautiful name of my beautiful main outfit. Someone just said it could just be Bepper. It is just Bepper. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it's not a party. I feel kind of bad, but he was here in the beginning, so at least there's that, right? Put one of these on there. Put one of these on there. Slap some wings on that bad boy. Put this specific color of elf bracelets. And there we go. I've assumed my role. Someone just said I'm crying, and I'm not sure if it's because they've realized I'm just Bepper and not a party, or because they're just really excited to see a party. In which case, when they find out it wasn't a party, they'll probably cry even more. Sinnoh just said Bepper imposter, but I'm not a Bepper imposter. I really am Bepper, okay? And when this video comes out in a few days, everyone will be shocked and appalled. Probably not, but whatever. And it wouldn't be my main outfit if it weren't for Little Ultra Puppy. So let's go ahead and recreate my best friend in Animal Jam. His tail is just like that, and his pattern is definitely not this. It's that. And his ears are like that. There we go. What a beautiful little guy. I'll switch him back to his original outfit, though, just to, you know, leave him on a good note. And anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye. Or, as Apari would say, peace.